Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show how to make those really cool mini worlds. Here's one of a sunrise that I took over Hastings in the morning. You can see it's like a little circle and I'll show you how to make that. What you will need though to make one of these is a panorama. So if you've got a phone and you can set it on pano, you can take one of these shots where you pan the camera around to create a long shot. Here's one of the early morning sunrise over Hastings like I said earlier. Now to make the effect like this, what we will need to do is first of all, make the canvas square. So we're gonna to go to image, we're gonna to go to canvas size, but before we do that, we'll make sure we've unlocked the layer so it's not locked to the image. So we go image, canvas size, and we make sure that the height is the same as the width. So we go 10920, which is the same amount of pixels, click okay. And you can see now that we have got a big square. Then we click on the move tool and we make sure that the padlock's not selected. And then we scroll the top of the picture upwards so it gets to the top and the bottom of the picture downwards so it gets to the bottom of the square like that. So you can now see we've got a nice stretched photograph. It'll take a little while just to transform that. Once we've done that, we then go image, adjustments, and we can make any adjustments to our brightness and contrast or levels, etc. So we'll have a look at the brightness slightly. It's a tiny bit brighter. A little bit more or less contrast there. Okay. Once we've made it so we're happy with the image, we then need to go to edit, transform, and flip vertical so we make it upside down. Then we need to use a filter. And the filter we're going to be using is polar coordinates. And it's found in distort and polar coordinates. Once we've found the filter, again, it will take a moment for it to process. We click OK, and you will then see how it turns it into a magical little world, which is really cool. You can use this for any panorama, or any photo, really. And there you have it. There's the world, and I think it looks better if I rotate it by 90 degrees clockwise. And you can see there we have the sunset and sunrise over the beach in Hastings Seafront in the morning. Now, have a go with different panoramas, experiment with different techniques, and see if you can capture these amazing events of the sunrise or sunset or everyday objects, okay? Hopefully you've enjoyed that today's tutorial. If you have, pop over to Quentin Cup Nature Flowers, tick that notification bell to let you know when I make another video, hit that subscribe button, and um, thanks for watching. Have a really good day and goodbye.